Hey guys, Spider here, and welcome to another episode of A Little Magic Every Day. And today, we're gonna be making up for yesterday because I did not have a computer. Yeah, it um, had to go to the shop and get fixed, so we're a little behind, but that's okay. Yesterday, we were supposed to make bath salts and not the drug kind for those of you who love to comment about how dangerous bath salts are this is not drugs this is something you bathe in okay all right so anyway we're gonna be making some magical salt to bathe in and then we're gonna make a another the second part of the video is gonna be about let me look at my notes. Connecting to well. Okay. So, here's what you'll need. Alright, first of all, you're going to need something to put your bath salts in. So, I have this nice little glass jar. Just making enough for maybe a couple of uses. I also wanted to show you. I finally got my oil bottles in. And I have been loving this. Look at that. This is the confidence oil that I made. It is fractionated coconut oil. Uh, 10 drops of lemon essential oil. And 5 drops of chamomile essential oil. And it, the smell does not last. Because um, those are both smells that dis dissipate pretty quickly. But... It is just absolutely, you know, just wonderful. I love it. It gives you just this like light scent and a nice kick in the pants. All right, so for this bath salt, you're going to need some sea salt, some fractionated coconut oil. If you don't know what that is, it is basically liquid, liquefied coconut oil so you know if you know anything about coconut oil if you guys can hear that I'm sorry I gotta fix my toilet if you know anything about coconut oil you know that um it's solid up to about 70 I think 77 degrees or so and then it becomes a liquid well they made it so that it's always a liquid this is just that so you're also going to need some Epsom salts, a teaspoon of herbs, and since we're making this for confidence, I've got chamomile, and a tablespoon of baking soda. So we're just going to combine those things, so hold up. Alright, so we're going to start with a base of three tablespoons of sea salt. I'm using coarse sea salt. You can use fine. It's up to you. All right, to the three tablespoons of sea salt, I've added five tablespoons of Epsom salts. And now we're just going to pour in our herbs and our baking soda. And we're gonna mix that up. And then we're gonna add some essential oil. I know I forgot to say that, but it is important. And we're going to be using lemon because uh, chamomile and lemon are really good for confidence. All right, so I've added a good bit of lemon essential oil. Uh, this part is going to be based on, you know, how scented you want it. Um, but I think I added probably about 15 drops to it and I think it smells really good. Now, this is purely optional, but I like it. I like to add in some of my fractionated coconut oil because it's really good for your skin and it also just makes the, you know, salt like really smushy, which is fun to kind of play with it with your hands. And that is it for that part. I'm just gonna um, stir that up real good. Maybe add a little more oil in it. Again, that's up to you and it's up to you how much. But um, that's it for the... All right, 
so I finished my bath salts, got a little lid on it, and uh, I'm gonna use this in about two to four baths. And you may be asking, you know, what would you, when would you use this? You can use this any time of the month. I'm probably gonna be using it around the uh, new moon and the full moon. And um, my husband likes to use these too when he's getting ready for the new moon and full moon. So, we'll be doing that. Now, let's get on to the, I still have salt on my fingers and my sleeves. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be moving on to the second part of the video, and that's gonna be connecting to Will. And um, all of the resources that I use will be um, in the description box down below. So, um, cause a lot of it is going to be um, links to internet sources and it's just weird saying all that out loud. So, I did get a lot of this from the internet and um, this is just ways that you can connect to your willpower. So one way is to stop comparing yourself to others. You are the only you there is. I think this one's very important to remember because so many people are like, oh, well, I don't have this car like my friend so-and-so or, oh, they're posting pictures of their vacation to, Hawaii. I want, I've never been to Hawaii. Why can't I go to Hawaii? And I think that's self-defeating. Like, you have your own life. Maybe they're out there going, oh man, I was never able to have kids. She's got three kids. Or, you know, look at the work she's doing in activism. I've never been that brave. You never know what my story is and you never know what they're missing in their life. So live your life to the fullest. Live your life. You are you. And don't let others, don't compare yourself to others. They're living their lives. If you're comparing yourself, then you're not living your best life. And I know, cause I'm really bad about this. I'm, I, you know, social media is so, and you get on and you're like, oh man, they're going out to parties and they're doing this and I'm thinking I don't like parties I don't like being around drunk people and I don't you know I've got anxieties I don't need that in my life so you know it's it's easy to say oh I wish I was doing that but do you really because if you really do go out and do it if not stop complaining because if you really wanted to be doing it, you'd find a way. And if you really want to do it, find a way. Live your life. All right, so let's move on. Enjoy everything. Oh, this one, yes. Um, have you ever just, you know, found that you're, you're going through the motions or something happens that is unsettling and upsets your whole day and you're just like, oh, my whole day is ruined because, you know, I stubbed my toe this morning. But what if you turned it around? And instead of saying that, you like sat down. It gave you a minute. You stub your toe and it gave you a minute to sit down when you've been running around like a chicken with his head cut off. And you're like, well, yeah, I stubbed my toe, but I got a little break. I know um, I like to think of flat tires as a reason for an adventure. Have you ever taken an adventure when you've had a flat tire? I mean, you know, sometimes you've got what you need in the car and sometimes you don't. So sometimes you have to walk for miles to get a can of WD-40. Maybe your tire is rusted on. But, you know, just enjoy things. Enjoy your breakfast. Enjoy 
bedtime, enjoy a good book, enjoy the breeze, enjoy the rain, find something about your day to be like, wow, that was amazing. All right, accept mistakes. This one's tough. I know it's tough. I have a tough time with this. I don't like admitting that I've made mistakes, but it's important because if you go through life not admitting and accepting your mistakes, you're gonna keep making them. So go, hmm, yeah, I made a mistake. Here's how I can improve and not do that again. Yeah. All right, don't allow others to define you. How often do you find that you let other people define you? I'm gonna tell you a story. When I was in high school, I wore whatever I wanted to wear. I did not let other people, uh, you know, set trends for me. I would wear, one day I would wear like something with uh, sequins on it and a skirt and maybe the next time I was all gothed out and maybe the next day I had on something a little preppier. Um, you know, I had outfits that I liked instead of a specific style. And I remember there was this guy that I liked and, and the first time I talked to him, I was wearing something kind of gothy and he said, I really like your outfit. And I was like, oh, thank you. And I didn't think anything about it. And the next, excuse me, the next day I uh, wore something a little preppier and he wrote me a note saying how disappointed he was in me. He was trying to define my look by that one time I talked to him when I was wearing something that he liked. And it was not okay. And I told him so, I'm like, I wear what I wear. You can't decide that I need to be, have a specific look. Cause I didn't have enough money to wear goth every day. I had already gotten my school outfits and you know, I would, I would go and get what I liked and then put it together in a way that suited me. And you can't let other people define you. If you do, one day you're going to look around and go, who am I? All right. So. Change your look, even if it's something small. Have you ever noticed how good you feel after a haircut? Or maybe you've gone to the mall and gotten a makeover? That little change can really boost your confidence. So, you know, find something, find something small. It doesn't have to be dramatic. It doesn't have to be like you go and dye your hair pink or unless you want to. If you want to do something dramatic, that's awesome. But a lot of people have lives that they cannot do something dramatic or they are too afraid to do something dramatic. So if that's the case, do something small. Maybe if you've had long hair, get it cut to shoulder length. <gasps> How daring. Or maybe you find a bolder eyeshadow. Do something. If you don't wear makeup, wear makeup. If you wear makeup, try going a day without it. Maybe just a little gloss. See how that feels. Do you feel naked? If you feel naked, don't do it because that's not confident. <laughs> then you're gonna go through the whole day going, uh. but try something different. All right, do something you love that makes you feel good think about it. We all have something we love that makes us feel good. For me, it would be studying magic. I love studying magic and it makes me feel so spiritual and so satisfied. So that's what I do. If I'm feeling really down, the books are coming out and in fact, you know, that's part of the reason why I started doing this is like, you know, I was having a tough time feeling confident and feeling like myself. So I'm like, I gotta get back into this. All right. Um, take some time for yourself. 
oh, this one's hard for a lot of people. Taking that time for yourself. Kids are like, mama, 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 daddy, 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 daddy. Or your boss is like, get to work, do this, blah, blah, blah. Or your spouse. So many people take, 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 take our time. Every now and then, you have to define a space that is yours. Define a time that is yours. And take that time. My videos, that's my time. I tell, I tell the family, I'm like, I'm going to do a video. And they leave me alone. Alright, so next is accept yourself just the way you are and vow to improve. So, accepting yourself the way you are is very important. Like, if you are uh, overweight, I'm overweight, I have to accept that I'm overweight. I can't run around like you know I'm not because I'm going to find at some point that I'm having a hard time catching my breath but that you know acceptance doesn't mean that you're not working toward improvement now see I can run around and I know that I'm gonna at some point have to catch my breath but I know I'm doing something good for me but if I push myself too far knowing that I'm overweight I could I could get in serious trouble I could hurt myself so you want to accept yourself for who you are if you're gay say hmm, I'm gay if you're bi hmm, I'm bi if you're trans hmm, I'm trans uh, other people may not accept you if you're fat hey I'm fat uh, but accept yourself go hey I am the best lesbian I can be. I am the best transgender person I can be. I am the best fat person I can be. I am the best um, witch I can be. Now, the people don't have to accept that. But if you accept that and then make yourself a better person because you're accepting that, then right on. You go. Okay? All right. Stand up straight and keep your chin and head up. So, um, I have bad posture. My kids have bad posture. It's hard to stand up straight, um, especially among autistic people. We tend to have uh, low muscle tone. So standing up straight is tough, but it is important. Every now and then I try to catch myself, I try to remind myself, hey, you're slouching, you're slumping. Pull those shoulders back, head up. Don't walk through life with your head down because it just sends a signal to people that they can run over you. And you don't want that. All right, so next is stand with an open stance. So many times um, people, especially if they have anxieties or they don't, want people to come into their space will stand with a closed off posture maybe their arms over their chest or kind of make take up as uh, as little space as possible open up that stance take up some space show that you are worth being there you're worthy to be where you are you don't have to make yourself small Make yourself big. Take an open stance. Alright. Relax. <laughs> People are so tense all the time. It's like you're so busy and you're tense and you gotta get here and here and here and here and do this and do that and do that. And it goes back into not taking time for yourself. Don't take time for yourself. Take a deep breath. 
and relax and know, hey, if I don't do this today, it's probably still going to be here tomorrow. Maybe prioritize, say, what has to be done today? What has to be done this week? What has to be done this month? Do I have a little time to breathe, to relax, maybe meditate? Take that time and relax and breathe and meditate. All right, love yourself. Nothing would be the same if you didn't exist. This is so important, so very important. Love yourself. Give yourself a big hug. Just, I love you. You're worth it. You know, if you weren't here, there'd be nobody like you in the world. If you weren't here, then it would be this hole. And people would just be like, why do I have this hole in my heart? It's because you're not here. Okay? So, you are here. And you are filling that hole in somebody's heart. And because you're filling that hole in somebody's heart, you need to love yourself because somebody out there loves you. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's your best friend who you don't know loves you so much because they're just always there and you, you know you can go to them. But sometimes you may not realize that because you hate yourself, and you talk mean to yourself or about yourself, that you're hurting your friend or your lover or whoever is out there. You're hurting them by hurting yourself. So stop, stop the hate talk and say, I love me. I love myself and I am worthy to be here because I am here and I am worthy of love. That is important you are important all right our next one is look for the good in every situation if none can be found know that it will change so many people see all the bad stuff that's going on right now you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel but it's there this may be the darkest tunnel you've ever been in and it may seem to be the longest tunnel you've ever been in there's light things will change things will turn around this is just the ups and downs of life you know um, there was a time a few years back when it was just the worst we got robbed right after my youngest was born we um, moved we got put in a crappy housing situation and the floor literally fell out from under us. Um, my husband got sick. He almost died. He lost his job. I had to go to work. And it was bad. It was bad for years. And now I'm home. And I'm doing this. I'm doing what I love. He's at work. He's getting out. He's doing what he loves. He's in much better health now kids are doing better you just never know you never know what's further out in your life so you gotta like, keep in mind things will change I mean just as fast as things can go bad things can go really good it happens all right I'm sorry this one's long but I just think these things are so important all right so the next one is say thank you instead of I'm sorry there's so many people who say I'm sorry I'm sorry yeah there's a time and place for I'm sorry I step on your toe <gasps> I'm so sorry I didn't mean to are you okay but when people say I'm sorry for taking up space so don't say I'm sorry don't say I'm sorry for being here. Don't say I'm sorry for taking up space. Say thank you. Thank you, goddess. I am here. Thank you, goddess, for putting me in this situation. I am not sorry. I am me. Thank you. All right, the next one is say no when you don't feel like doing something. 
Now it's, I know that it is sometimes hard to say yes when you do want something, but it's even harder to say no. We're taught as a society, especially women, to not say no. And that's not okay. So if there's something you don't want to do and somebody says, hey, you want to do this? Say no. And don't say sorry. Say, oh, thank you for offering, but I have something else to do, so no thank you. But not I'm sorry. No thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. All right, next is exercise. Even if it's just, if you just start with five minutes a day, exercise boosts confidence. That's just proven. So, you know, find something you can do. I'm not saying you gotta get out there and just run or lift a hundred pounds. You know, you may not be able to do that. That's fine. But start small. Just find something you can do. I recently uh, sprained my ankle very badly and I'm not able to dance. I love to dance. So I've been couch dancing <laughs> where you sit on your butt and you still dance and you still get some exercise but you're not putting any weight on your feet and knees. Start with that. When um, a few years back when I started my journey toward weight loss I was so overweight it was hard to be on my feet for long periods of time and so I started with couch dancing and you know, and I was able to lose a lot of weight and be able to get up and do stuff, but find something. Five minutes every day. Walk. Walk your dog. Uh, get a dog to walk if you can. <laughs> you know, do something. Five minutes. That's all I'm asking. You can do it. All right. We're getting toward the end of the list, which is good because my throat's getting very sore. Set small goals for yourself every day and record your achievements. All right, so I have like a marker board that I like to put the things that I need to do today. And I've got like the important things at the top and the everyday things on the side and at the bottom, a running list of things that I find that we need. And so I try to get the important things done first and then do the other everyday things like washing dishes, washing laundry, um, you know, and just setting small goals and achieving them is so fulfilling. It makes you feel good about yourself. So if you have a hard time with that, write them down, do one thing. When you're done, say, wow, I did that. Write something down. I achieved this. And then do the next thing. And it's going to make you feel a lot better about yourself. All right. Meditate five to ten minutes. Even if your mind is running wild, just five, ten minutes, sit down, relax, breathe. There are meditation apps with timers. There are meditation videos. I've got one. There are meditation, um, like apps, all kinds of stuff. And use one of those or set a timer, do something. But just take that time to meditate. You can meditate on something. You can use a guided meditation. You can um, just whatever makes you feel like oh, the time well spent. I feel centered. I feel like I can go on from here. All right, be your own cheerleader. This is hard, this is hard. I know it's hard, but be your own cheerleader. You know, you don't have to go out there and go, I am the greatest, yay! But say, I am the greatest. And then go out and do something. <laughs> be your own cheerleader. Psych yourself up, look in the mirror and go, I am awesome. I love myself. I am fantastic. I am the best at 
this. Like, I am the best artist, or I am the best singer, or I am the best mom. And just be your own cheerleader. Look yourself in the mirror and go, yeah, you can do it. Woo! <laughs> okay. Challenge yourself. Find something that you've always wanted to learn or you've always wanted to do and set aside time to learn it or do it. Find something to challenge yourself. Um, making these videos every day has been a challenge for me. But here I am. I'm doing it. I've missed two days so far, but that's two out of ten. So I think that's pretty dang good. I'm proud of me. Alright, and last but not least, be positive. And that includes not complaining. So, be positive, stay positive, say positive things. If you catch yourself complaining, stop. And then say, let me rephrase that and find something positive. Instead of being like, oh, that's so-and-so, so ugly. Find something you like about that so-and-so. Go, you know, I may not be the biggest fan of so-and-so, but I like the way they dress. I like the way they speak. I like that they're not afraid to do something that I'm afraid to do. And then take a deep breath and move on. Alright guys, see you tomorrow. You want to know what we're doing tomorrow? Tomorrow we're doing confidence divination. So get your cards ready. Alright. Blessed be guys. See you tomorrow.